Good morning, everybody. It is like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. I need to check out of this hotel room, but I am so tired. So we've got to figure something out. So I uh, went ahead and I booked another night, this time with a bathtub. Mm. And this is the first time in like two years I'm gonna have a bath that I don't need to like rip apart a trash can for. But after getting up and getting dressed and dealing with all that, I'm not actually tired anymore. So let's go hit the town. The first thing we've got to figure out is which one of my cards work here. In the European Union, all of my cards work everywhere. But in Ukraine, for example, my credit cards didn't work and I had to use my debit card. So let's just go figure out which things work where. For everybody that's curious, the prices here are about three times as much as they are in the United States. Uh, I said that wrong. If you see something that is three lira here, then that means that, that costs one dollar. So you just divide the price by three to get dollars. It looks like a lot of their businesses have both Georgian and English typefacing. So that's good. That'll help us read stuff. That is their flag, by the way. It's basically four small doctors inside of one big doctor. I think our first order of business is gonna go to McDonald's, get some food, and check out the prices. They actually won't even let me in the door because they don't like my vaccination. I could not be in the country if I wasn't vaccinated. Jesus Christ. McDonald's lost, we're gonna go to a bakery instead. Yes, two, and then one of these. Good news, my debit card definitely does work. And you can see the price here is six gel, which means you divide that by three and this costs $2. Our food costs $2. Let's go find somewhere to eat. It's like a big ring. I'm not sure what this food is. It's bread, but it's got like little sesame seeds on it. I also got these little chocolate chip rolls. I think they're chocolate chips. It is chocolate. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll, just not hot and no cinnamon. Next, we gotta figure out what one Nate size serving of Coca-Cola costs. It looks like we can get an entire bottle for less than a dollar, but that's not refrigerated and that's too big. Well, it looks like the only option is too big and just way too big. So let's go with Goldilocks here. It does not look like this one has heated bread. Disappointing. For this purchase, we're gonna use my credit card and see if that works. Check it out, you can get three Snickers for less, for yeah, you can get three Snickers for $3. No, three Snickers for $1. Three Snickers for $1, crazy. Hey, my card worked, which means that Georgia is just inherently better than Ukraine because all of my cards work here. We still have two things we need to do today. We need to buy a backpack and we need to buy clothes, but that might be difficult if the Georgian government doesn't like my vaccination. I'm also noticing, that there are a lot of wild dogs here. I really hope I don't get rabies. That would not be fun. Look at this. I found bags. How do we feel about this one? 45. So divide that by three. This is like somewhere in the neighborhood of $12. I'm looking at the shoe section and they use completely different shoe sizes than we do. So I'm not actually sure what size of foot I have in Georgian units. Ooh, these look nice. Look at this. These are like $20. This place could give Walmart a run for their money. Oh, and look at this also. They have two right shoes here. So like you can't like steal one because then you wouldn't have the other pair. I think that's, an, I think that's interesting. It's a clever idea. Okay, we got Clyde the Hall. I got it all here in my bag. Let's go take a look at everything we got. This is such a sharp contrast to Barcelona where the streets are just packed with people 24 seven. I like this so much more. I just realized that I also need toiletries. Toothbrush, toothpaste, that kind of thing. I do not think they have toothbrushes here. Let's check this side. Maybe. Uh, no. Okay, let's go check out the loot. We got a shoe. I think we got another shoe. Boom. Two shoes. We should have. What is that? Oh, gloves. Yes, because it's real cold here. My hands need it. We got a bunch of socks. Check it out. The shoes even have this like nice wool inside, so it'll keep my feet warm. It's like these things were made for winter. But now we need to actually head to a real clothes store because that place just had like gloves and shoes and shit like that. Now we actually need to get like shirts and pants and stuff. Check it out. They have electrically powered wheelchair accessibility ramps so that people can come down here without needing to walk. That's kind of cool. 
Googled clothes store nearby and Google sent me to H&M. So this is where we're gonna pick up our clothes. I have some bad news for you guys. I lost my mask somewhere along the way here. Maybe I took it out of my pocket. Maybe it's at the hotel. I don't know, but I don't have a mask and the store I need to go into is right there. So you guys know how this works. Oh wait, scratch that. Never mind. My mask was in my pocket. We're good. Honestly, pants are gonna be the hardest thing to find because honestly, I'm one of the shortest men in the world. And so stores really don't stock pants that fit me. Honestly, your 12 year old nephew is taller than me. Where's the men's section? See, for example, the lowest size they have here is 30. I don't know what 30 is, but it is way too tall for me. So even their smallest sizes are too big for me. I'm gonna ask them if they have like a 28. <sighs> nope, they have nothing smaller than 29. Now, I guess we can go walk around the mall and ask all of the stores what the smallest size pants they carry is. Second store does not carry the pants my size. <sighs> Let's give Wrangler a shot. Hey, got a question for you. What is the shortest pant size you guys carry? It's like length to 30. Like these. 30, yep, okay, thank you. Thank you, yep, never mind. Third store, the shortest pant size they carry is 30. We need at least, or at most, a 28. Let's try store number four. Holy shit, I found a pair of pants with a length of 27. Let's give this a shot. Okay, so we're in the dressing room. We're gonna try these pants on real quick, but apparently this place has a free tailor. So that means we can take a longer pair of pants and make them fit. Okay, I know that I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this because everybody seems to lose their mind whenever I buy like skinny jeans, but buying pants is hard and these fit. So this is what we're going with. I just spent $60 on a pair of jeans. Jesus Christ, I miss Goodwill. Goodwill is great. I'm gonna get two plain V-neck t-shirts. I'm breaking one of my cardinal rules of not stopping at the local like street food places, but we're getting hummus. But of course we are drinking water. We got hummus and we got pita bread. They charged me $10 for that meal. Apparently they don't give free water here. That place just charged me $1.70 for the water. Holy shit. Holy shit. $1.70 for water. I was trying to be cheap. It is not ideal, but this is what the outfit's currently looking like. We got the white t-shirt, we got the jeans, shoes. Good. Today was honestly super productive. We managed to get everything that we need and I think that we are starting the next Living on $100 series tomorrow. So stay tuned for that.